Welcome to episode 725 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. It is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So let's talk briefly about the Internet of Things and sensor technology. And I've, uh, I've certainly seen some interesting uses of sensor technology, especially in the waste management business where they govern the volume of trash, trash that actually goes in a container um, for several different reasons. One, for uh, creating a, a cadence about emptying your particular canisters when they are full or reaching uh, uh, capacity. Uh, maybe optimizing the way that trash is actually distributed throughout the community such that you reduce um, the volume of trash, not necessarily the volume of trash, but the volume of pickup. Um, that's interesting. Um, and I know there's some interesting vendor partners out there doing business in that uh, in that segment, so to speak. But I want to talk about how we get uh, sensor technology deployed uh, widely in our apartment communities, especially those apartment communities where we're having to retrofit that technology. Um, I think certainly 5G, uh, certainly the ability to create a mesh network over the top of your community um, is important and probably um, center to making sure or making it uh, uh, possible to do those sorts of things. Um, but I think there's an interesting potential play, and I'm making this up in my own head, where insurance companies might supplement uh, the cost um, to install this uh, type of technology, especially in the areas of water detection, leak detection, uh, maybe some of the mechanicals uh, that could potentially cause fires in, a, in a, an apartment building. So be it the stove or a dishwasher or anything that's electrical or causes load and electricity, uh, those things could be outfitted with uh, sensor technology uh, such that it cuts down the time uh, and or deploys some sort of um, safety mechanism that would cut off uh, the water and or cut off the electricity or cut off any other uh, stimulant that might be uh, producing a, a bad outcome for a community. So I think my thesis here, the punchline is that there are some mechanisms out there that will help multifamily owners uh, install this type of technology in those communities where you're having to retrofit as opposed to ground up construction where I think that I'm not suggesting it's easy or, or not uh, not expensive, but it's probably a bit easier and a bit less expensive to do it on a new build than it is to, to retrofit a community. So interested to hear your thoughts about the Internet of Things and Central Technology and how we pay for that and get it widely deployed so that we can uh, maybe potentially push down insurance costs uh, in the future. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.